I've released too many hot topics over the past uh, couple of weeks. Man, I don't know if I'm ready to jump into this one. But you, you, pr you propose a very good question that I guess I've been meaning to talk about and I don't know if I've... I don't know if I've made a video about it in the past. Shunpai was asking, would Street Fighter ever remove joystick motions for specials and could it work? You want to talk about a hot topic, man. We got the free to play. We got the emergent loose gameplay. And now this, Jesus, man, we're just on the chopping block. It's a great question. It actually is a great question. It's a landmine. And I, I feel regardless of what I say, it's going to uh, blow up in my ass. But uh, here we go. Motion inputs, half circle, quarter circles, quarter circle backs, sure use, all that kind of stuff, right? Once again, if we're talking about that for Street Fighter VI or the general idea of fighting games, I think that's a good conversation. Let's talk about Street Fighter VI, right? Do I think it won't be in Street Fighter VI? I think Street Fighter VI is absolutely going to have motion input still. I think they will still have 360s for Geef if he's in the game. I think they'll still have charge attacks for Guile. I don't think you're going to be able to press down special and you get a flash kick for Guile or back special and you get a uh, sonic boom. We've all experienced that, right? I made videos of me playing the one button special Street Fighter and it's Super Street Fighter 4 3DS. Oh man, I actually think I played that game online with Guile and he was unfucking stoppable because you pressed one button on the 3DS pad and you were able to throw sonic booms and then walk forward behind them. It was ridiculous and flash kick people on like immediate reaction. I don't think that's how they would do it, right? I don't think that's how, even if there was no motion inputs in a game like Street Fighter VI, how they would approach it. But here's the thing. I'm going to be the middle of the road asshole on this because I don't, I, I don't think that there's a situation where the legacy stuff should go away. And I also think that there is a, a decent ground that can be covered if we take away quarter circles, half circles, crazy KOF motions, like all that kind of shit. Even KOF consolidated their motions quite a bit in KOF 15. What did they end up doing? Anybody that played KOF 15 would know that they made supers, or at least the super climax move, the same for every single character. It's the same like fireball back, half circle forward motion, I believe, for every single character in the game. And I think that's actually a good call. That allows me to kind of remember what this character does in this situation a little bit faster. I guess it helps me help learn the character a little bit quicker, I guess. And they removed a lot of the uh, the pretzel emotions. For example, will Geese have his crazy pretzel stuff? Most likely not. He most likely will have either the craziest thing he's going to ha have is a quarter circle forward, half circle back, or a half circle back, quarter circle forward. That's probably going to be what he does for some of his crazy shit. But the bigger question is, it, it, is fighting games going forward better to have no motion inputs, to essentially have DNF duel situation or a even Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, right? Even fighting games like Killer Instinct have already tried to uh, do away with motion inputs. There is a combo assist mode in KI, where you don't have to do the motion inputs at all. You can you can actually just press buttons for the varying degrees of light, medium, and heavy for the special part, as well as the auto doubles. And they found a way to balance it to actually make it work, where the game still works regardless of you doing it or not, even though there's no direct reward for doing the manual stuff. And I, I feel like that is where I kind of draw the line. Even if a big game like Street Fighter, which is you know, one of the birthing places of actual motion inputs. It has to be there for legacy, but I think it also has to have a reward. That is my gimmick with this entire motion input argument of whether or not this is gonna be the, the make or break of fighting games in the future. I have I have a ton of fun with fighting games, by the way, that don't have motion inputs, right? Fighting games that have gotten away and are still ridiculously complex and complicated, like, like Smash, and I'm, but I'm not that good at Smash, or even delving deeper into Power Rangers when that came out. Power Rangers is a game with no motion inputs either, and that game's friggin' insane. Or even how crazy some games like Grand Blue can get, or some games like DNF might eventually get, we don't know. I think there's absolutely a place for those games to exist. And yeah, just because you're not doing a quarter circle forward or a Shoryu doesn't mean that it's like the most basic bitch, you know, simple basic game in the world. No, it doesn't really lead that way. There's still a lot of execution involved in a lot of that stuff. I think there's some caveats along the way. And this happened in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, where they decided early on, and they talked about it, to remove the Shoryuken input. Where there was going to be essentially fireball back, fireball forward for the majority of stuff in the game and MVCI was going to remove the DP input. First thing in my head, they were like, hey, DP is now down, down. And immediately my brain is like, 
Okay, so that's the worst fucking thing ever because you are going to autocorrect DP. That means that if you do a cross up, the DP will autocorrect for you to the correct side. Generally, right? That, that might actually might be really rough. They didn't end up doing that for every character. In fact, Ryu ended up having a regular Shoryu input by the time it came out. But other characters like Zero and I think Morrigan actually kept their down down DP inputs. And it's very good, <laughs> right? It ends up being so super good for some characters and then other characters where they actually have to do a manual dp they have very good dps right and then other characters it's not nearly as good i think you need to make a choice like to me you could have done the down down thing just remove like upper body and vulnerability maybe if you did a dp input and did the full forward down down forward motion you get the full like a, a very minor amount of full body and vulnerability right which is like what some of the old which is maybe what you're expecting out of a DP. Like a, a little bit of invincibility on this move for huge attack priority, right? And that leads me back to what I was just talking about. You need a reward. People should be rewarded for the high execution stuff. I'm actually generally okay with auto combos in fighting games. I'm kind of okay with it. If there's a reward for doing the hard version. If there is a specific reason that you see the auto combo or you see the down down the, the easy motion input and your the game will actually give you a reason to do the manual version of that input, you know? And I think you should give the players the choice. And I, I think that's completely fine. I think like Dragon Ball Fighters, that one of the biggest issues of the auto combos in that game is that the auto combo is good. Like sometimes there's a good reason to be absolutely destroying the square button with the top side of your face and hitting the shit out of that controller. There needs to be a reward for the skill barrier is what I'm trying to say. And I think games have actually done that very well. I think some games have auto combos that actually are kind of bad, but they look cool but they don't do a lot of damage. If you do the manual version, you get way more options. I think some games have done manual um, manual inputs on top of non-motion inputs, just like forward and back and down, simple stuff. And they've done it pretty well. Like, I think Granblue had a pretty good idea for that. I didn't love the cooldown meter of like, you can only use this move um, so quickly again and stuff like that. Uh, but I did like the fact that, hey, if I manually did this move, it gave me uh, a quicker recharge time. That's a good idea. There should be a reward for performing the attack at a more difficult fashion. I'm trying to think of the best way to sway it. Uh, if, if I have the execution to do it the harder execution way, there should be a reward associated. And even DNF does have something as well where the rewards aren't that much better. I, I almost feel like the move should be bigger, right? Or, or you should add an extra hit to the move or something like that. In DNF Duel, they allow you to do no motion inputs, or if you do the motions for the inputs, your, uh, your gauge recovers a little bit faster, right? It's, it's sort of the, it doesn't limit you from doing the move too much. So I'm down for that, right? I'm kind of, I kind of think that's good. I, I, as long as there's an executional requirement, I, I'm, I'm in this boat where we can have both worlds. I think there's, I think there's a situation where even if Street Fighter VI was to move away from motion inputs, as long as there is more damage, right? As long as maybe there's different properties the moves have, that's okay. And like, I think I just said this before, if, if the Shore Yukin on a Shoto, for example, goes back to the old ways, right? It actually goes back to, you don't need EXs anymore on DPs to, to, to DP people. If there was a DP in Street Fighter VI that was done with down, and punch. Holy shit. Well, that will genuinely change how people will approach the game, right? That absolutely changes how people will be playing Street Fighter. You have to do something, right? There, there, there. You can't just have DPs be all over the place. You have to remove a certain part of it, right? It can't have the full, like the, the levels of invincibility doing the manual motion does, right? You, you can't just take away because once again, you run into that same situation, a cross up happens and all of a sudden, oh yeah, I just mashed TP and I essentially fixed both of my problems. You know, uh, you're, I'm gonna cross up and if I can hit you and I'm just gonna do uh, down with this button and I'm gonna get what I want. There needs to be easily some crazy consolidation made in that situation because it's already easy enough to mash out a DP. That thing's already easy enough to do. To summarize this, I'm kind of fine with fighting games giving people options. I'm, I, in fact, I think more options are kind of the better in terms of accessibility in fighting games. But the same way I feel about auto combos is the same way I feel about 
No more rolling motions, no more charges or whatever. Everything goes to essentially smash inputs, which is neutral, back, forward, and down, and maybe up with just one button. I just press forward button and I get a fireball. As long as there is a reward associated with doing the manual input, then we're good. But if we get down to the, the nitty gritty and suddenly a fighting game comes out and um, you can do both, but one's there just for legacy and everyone else gets to do the other ones. That, that's, that's kind of where I, I, I genuinely disagree. I, I genuinely do not want them to go down that road. And I'm even, I'm even down for fighting games to have auto combos, right? You can, you can give everybody auto combos. Make my, uh, my also philosophy for fighting games is yes, make cool shit happen easier. Just make cool shit happen easier. Let people do cool shit and just let it happen for very little requirement. I think in, in some fighting games, you should smash a lot of buttons and cool shit should happen. Cool. However, there needs to be something to strive for. I hate the fact that Guilty Gear Strive has ruined my ability to, to use this sentence. There should be always something to strive for. There should be a reason for you to move beyond that. There should be a reason to try to go to something that is harder to execute that will give you a better reward. And if Street Fighter or future fighting games decide to uh, implement these elements of no motion inputs or auto combos, as long as we have the latter, I'm completely fine. People will complain, but I think having the option is completely fine.